Okay, this is a couple of lights I want to build. Uh, the model I made of a couple of lights I want to build for my shuffleboard table. Um, from this point to this point, they're going to be about 49 inches long. Uh, the light itself from the, from the base to the top of the rail is going to be about 21 to 22 inches. I've got it at 21 and a half here in the drawing. Uh, what it actually ends up being uh, remains to be seen, I guess. But um, some of the critical things I want to show you here are, uh, here's, let me just show you the profile quick. I'm going to have a piece here uh, made out of Baltic birch. Uh, nothing more than a, a triangle with a, with a little ledge on it here for the top piece. Uh, giving me enough room to house this light fixture which is um, an LED light fixture that I've already purchased. Uh, the back will also be bolted birch and then the uh, the standards will be bolted birch and the top and the uh, I guess I'll just say the top the two pieces that, that form the top of the shade are going to be solid wood. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking right now anyway. So, uh, one thing that I've got going on here is, uh, if you see the profile of the table here, here's my rail. Let's see if I can straighten that out for you. There we are. Here's my rail, um, my cap piece, uh, my skirt board. Um, I'm going to have the same basic locking mechanism that I have right now on my drink holders. This piece will be sliding up and down in a slot here. So I'll have this slot in order to move that uh, lock piece up and down in my lock knob there. Then these two pieces that, you're, that, I'm, that are going to form the uh, standard, it's, it's a little bit short here because I need to have access to or a, the, a way to remove, not remove, but uh, a way to have the, the, the electrical cord come out, you know, exit the standard, I guess. So what I've done here is I'm, I'm going to make two channels, one longer than the other, obviously because the one piece is longer than the other two, but in total this channel will be, I'm thinking right now, quarter by quarter. So this will be eighth inch deep, this will be eighth inch deep and then it'll be a quarter of an inch wide you know from this point to this point in both pieces so that when you glue them together they'll match up so that's how that's going to work uh, there'll be a hole drilled in the back piece here this being the back there'll be a hole right in the center for the cord to come through into that channel and then I'll just funnel it down and uh, like I said, it'll exit in that, in that part I showed you earlier. So there it is. I think that that's going to be a nice addition to my tables. Looking forward to building it. Building both of them. Uh, building them, I should say. Building both of them. Oh, the one thing here too is this piece, this uh, lock piece will be uh, Baltic Birch right here. This will be two pieces of Baltic birch laminated together um, so that I can hook it over the table. The reason I'm using different colors here is just, just because of the contrast. I need different contrasts so you can see what's going on here. So this is Baltic birch, these two pieces. This will be Baltic uh, this will be solid wood down here, this, this lock mechanism. That will be solid wood, like my drink holder is probably cherry. And then uh, Baltic on the side, Baltic in the back, and solid wood, most likely cherry up here. So that's what I got going on. So let's go build them. Okay, I've already gotten started uh, with some of this stuff on my project here. This 
is what I, I'm just going to show you this because th this is pretty easy stuff. This is the uh, back piece of my light. Um, I'm making this out of Baltic birch. And then the cover will be, uh, I haven't decided if that's going to be uh, Baltic birch plywood or if that's going to be uh, solid wood. I'm leaning towards solid wood just because I want to do it in about a quarter inch. But anyway, here's the backs. So I've got two of those. This is that triangular piece of, that I was showing in the drawing. That's going to sit on here like this. Then I've got to make th this piece here and this piece. And that, I think, will be out of solid wood. So that's going to be uh, the end. I'm going to run a small dado in here to line that up. Then these are going to be my arms. Uh, I'll glue these together after I get uh, done running my dado channel down there. And then I'll glue that together and that will allow for the cord to go uh, through that channel. Here's the lights. They're, uh, they're an LED light. You know, so it's nice and cool. It's not going to get hot inside this wood housing, so I don't have to worry about that. 1,200 lumens. Uh, quite honestly, I can't tell you what that means. <laughs> so I could look that up, I suppose, but that's, you know, uh, how bright it is. And it's by Patriot Lighting. I just picked it up at the home center. So I did what I did do. It says it's got a five-year warranty, but but not anymore <laughs> because I modified this light. So I I've got the cord now coming out the center, and I can show you on the new one here what uh, the one that I haven't modified. And I'll show you how I modify it. But. So here's the new one. And the cord is supposed to plug in on the end. Oops, on this end. Right here. Well, right away you can see that's not going to work because this is just. That's no good. And then I'd have to wrap the cord back this way and then take it down the center. And I don't want to do that. So I pulled the cord out. And this is that switch I was telling you about too right here. So I got rid of that. Well, I'm not going to get rid of it. I need, I need that. And um, on this end, I cut this flush and put that in, and cut this off and, and crop those uh, copper lugs in there. You're able to take these and um, gang them together, male to, male to a female type thing, and string them out. But I'm using them individually, so that end would plug into this end. So, uh, anyway, I'll show you how, how I modify this to, to get the, the electrical coming out this end. One thing you do need to keep track of is, when you do this, is that these plugs need to go in the uh, proper orientation into the cord. So for me, black, black goes into the box, co box colored or box shape, and red goes into the round. That's all I remembered anyway. So this is this is what's going to run down that channel, these two wires. And then when I get to this point in the channel, I'm just going to make it, uh, you know, a custom cut dado to accept all this. And then I'll go back to the cord. So that's how I'm going to handle that. Okay. Let's get busy here. Okay, the first thing you need to do is uh, take these two end covers off. 
I'm gonna grab my small Phillips here. There we go. So it's just Get some room. It's just two little fine uh, Phillips screws that hold these caps on right here. So we remove those. And these screws are tiny. So what I like to do, that little magnet, flying all over the place. Well, this one's not cooperating. Let me get my glasses and see what's going on here. Well, this baby is stripped from the factory. So the, the guy who installed this one spun it a little too tight. And I'm going to try and get it out if I can't. Let me go see what I can do. I might have to drill that head off. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, plan B. I'm just going to try and drill the head of that, the head of the screw off. And not go into this plastic. If there's enough of a nub there, I can get a vice grip on that and spin that out. Well, I can see that there's a nub there. I couldn't get a vice grip to bite on it, so I'm just going to try these and see if I can spin this out. And she's coming. Okay, so oh, that's that. Now these these got these little uh, heat shrink tubings over them, and and behind here is a screw that goes into this housing. Let's see if I can get this open for you. Let me zoom this out a little bit. There. All right, so I'm just going to make a little cut here. See if I can peel this back. And 
in here, you can see there's a little, I hope you can see it anyway, there's a little screw in here. It threads into this post. That's that one. Now let me get this one off and then we'll go on. Never fails as soon as you turn the camera off my open right up. So I'll pull this screw out here. amends to what I said earlier. I had that wrong. The, the black goes into the into the round and the red goes into the square. So black is round. I'll remember that. Now the thing I gotta do is I've got to get these posts out of here. And what what i what I have to do is take this plastic right here. It's it's kind of molded into this plastic. And just take a hand chisel and just peel this back and then these these will pop right out. So that's what I'm going to do next here. <laughs> 